Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my Nordstrom anniversary sale haul. Are you sick of hearing about the end sale? <laughs> but I am posting this on the day that public access goes live and I wanted to share all the things that I purchased from the sale that I think is worth it. I actually have quite a few duds as well from this sale that just didn't work out for me and I'm gonna share them too <laughs> in case you maybe wanted to try and you're like, oh, nope, or maybe you have a different body type or something and it works for you. Um, but I have some good stuff, some bad stuff and you guys this sale is completely overhyped you don't have to buy anything like it is a very overhyped sale it's a little crazy and everything sells out really fast so it's almost not even fun I'm gonna say <laughs> that it's kind of disappointing it just kind of disappoints you because you're like oh I wanted to buy that and now it's sold out whatever um, but don't like don't like get bummed that you missed out on something because if you missed out on something, you'll probably see it be restocked and posted on sale by like holiday time. So <laughs> it might be a better time to purchase it then anyways. But I'm gonna share with you guys all the things that I got and actually I am missing five of the things that I ordered. They have not even shipped yet. So I'm not really sure when I'm gonna get them, um, but I'm gonna share those actually first um, and link them for you guys in case you guys wanted to actually four of the five items are still available at this point that I'm filming. So I wanted to share them and let you guys know that I purchased them as well. And actually two of the items I'm not sure about, two of the items I'm 100% on board with. And I already own. Okay, so the first thing that is sold out, I did purchase that Free People sweater that's like I don't know, it's kind of like a fisherman knit one um, in black. I really wanted the like tan beige color that they had, um, but it completely sold out on like the first day or something. So that didn't happen. Um, so I actually purchased it in black in the small. I kind of just want to see if I like it. Um, I'm not really, I don't really need a black sweater, but I just wanted to see if it was really really cute or I don't know I just I ordered it it was available so I ordered it um, and if I don't like it I'll just send it back but it is a really cute sweater but like I said I really wanted the tan beige one but it's all out all right second thing I ordered is the Zella live-in leggings um, I kind of just purchase a new pair every single year I get a size small I love them they're a high-waisted live-in legging and I think I shared them in my end sale favorites video I love them they are so good and I like them for like casual wear working out and I actually really like to wear them in the winter because they're a little bit of a thicker material um, I actually have like a lululemon align those are really thin and I like wearing those in the winter but they're not as like warm <laughs> and the Zella ones are warm but I can also work out in them and I can also um, just wear them like every day so I love those they are really good they also have one with a pocket on sale um, that is a 7 eighths length I actually also own those and I love those I kind of use those just to work out in um, but the Zella live in legging is just so good um, I do believe it comes in other colors and black but I always just order a black pair because I don't know I just kind of like refresh my legging all right the next two items that I have not received that hasn't even shipped yet are two pairs of boots one is the Mark Fisher I feel like it's kind of like the it booty of the sale it's the Mark Fisher it's a suede cognac booty with like it's kind of got like a pointed toe and a pretty good heel size. Um, I have been wanting a suede cognac boot. I don't own one. I don't own any suede like cognac brown color. So I really wanted one for the sale and those were kind of like the it booty. So I'm gonna try them. Um, and I actually ordered one very similar last year in like a taupey color and I really liked it. So I'm hoping this one will be good as well. Um, and then I also ordered, this was kind of like a random buy, it was kind of a bit of money, but it's a good deal for like a really good boot and all the reviews were really good, so I am trying them out. They are a, I think it's Vince Henderson boot, um, but it's like a weatherproof booty that has a heel, but the heel is more of like a 
like I don't know it's really cool I'm gonna link them down below for you guys because they look kind of cool um, I bought them in the sand color so they're kind of like a light sandy um, kind of tannish color um, and they also come in black and olive green and I think another color as well but they looked really comfy like I said they had really good reviews so we're gonna try them out and then the last thing that I ordered, <laughs> I already own it and I need a restock, is my shampoo. I'm like, please ship my shampoo because I'm like almost out and I don't have any other shampoo. I really need my shampoo. Um, so they always come out with this little set. It's the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Shampoo, conditioner, and then they have the dry shampoo as well. So it comes in like a big set like that. And um, it's the jumbo size and you guys, for me, I wash my hair twice a week and this jumbo size lasts me an entire year. This is the exact set that I purchased from last year, so it's still going strong. And like I said, I'm on my like last little bit though, so like they need to ship that ASAP. All right, moving right along, I'm actually gonna share my beauty products first um, since I was talking about my shampoo. And these two things I decided to pick up. I got the Whey, it's the leave-in conditioner and the hair oil kind of duo. And it was a really good price because I believe the leave-in conditioner is like 27, 29-ish dollars. And then I think the hair oil is the same and you got both for $35. So I thought that was a really good deal. And I actually use these. These are the this is my favorite leave-in conditioner and my favorite hair oil that I actually use. I'm actually almost out of my hair oil, um, but I love this little set, so I thought it was a great deal, and I grabbed it. The other set that I got is something that I've actually never tried, but I've been curious, and I thought it was a pretty good deal. Um, it's by the brand Necessar. It's Necessar. Oh gosh, I'm gonna totally butcher that. Um, but it is a body wash and a body lotion, and I've heard really good things about it, but I don't really know. I'm gonna show you guys the size of what you get. I don't know if this is available, guys. I don't know if anything is available that I'm sharing, um, but I will link it and share it. Um, so this is, that's a pretty good size body wash. And then the body lotion. So, mm, it smells good. This is the eucalyptus scent for the body wash and the um, body lotion is fragrance free, which is actually why I bought it because I need just a good basic lotion. Um, so yeah, that I guess it's valued at $50 and it was $35 for both of those. So I thought that was a good deal. All right, next up, I did grab a Barefoot Dreams blanket. I grabbed another one. We like live in these and I just grabbed like the plain gray one. I think it's called the color Dove Gray. Um, I love their blankets and I think they're all sold out. You guys, I hope they restock because I really do think the one thing that is worth it in the sale is maybe some beauty products that you already own. Um, any investment piece and then a Barefoot Dreams blanket I think is worth it. Now some people don't want to pay the price of a Barefoot Dreams blanket. I totally get it, but I love them. I really do. I have the leopard one. I actually got that one for Christmas last year. And I do think it's a pretty good deal because these don't go on sale very often. So I really hope they restock. Um, I think any of them are worth it. This one feels just like the leopard one. But, and I think, believe it's the same like size. It's really, really big and oversized. Um, but it's actually, it's less money than the leopard one. So if you wanna try it out, get this one. All right, two pairs of shoes did come in for me. Like I said, I got those two other booties. Um, and then I got another boot and a pair of sneakers. And I don't know, I, I liked their shoe selection, but I wasn't like wowed by it. Um, and this is actually something I believe, right? As of right now, I looked online and these are still available, but I'm not sure a hundred percent about them um, because I want so badly a combat boot. <laughs> I want a combat boot, but I want one that doesn't, that looks okay. You know what I mean? I don't want one that like has like a bunch of bells and whistles to it. I just want like a good basic combat black boot that I can wear. I don't know if it's going to happen, <laughs> but I saw these from Sam Edelman and I liked them because they were really just kind of basic and plain. There's nothing crazy about them. Um, they're really nice. They're real leather. They fit, I think, true to size. 
if you're wearing a thick sock. Otherwise, I would maybe even size down a half size. I would, I got my true size nine and there's definitely room in there, but I know for a fact that I will wear thicker socks in them and that they'll be fine. So I'm gonna stick to my true to size. Um, I'm gonna try them on for you guys here, but I love them and I thought they were a decent deal. And like I said, they're a basic black combat boot that I can wear in the winter. And I wanted one with kind of like this lug sole. I feel like the like lug sole is like a real big thing this year. Um, and I think it's gonna be good in like snow and all that kind of stuff. So I thought they were cute. We'll see. Okay, so these are the combat boots on. Um, as I'm like putting them on and looking at them, I feel like they're a little square toed and I think that's what's throwing me off. So they do have kind of like a boxy square toe. And I think I need more of like that, like classic, like almondy round shape. Um, so I don't know, I'm a little torn. I think, I just think a black pair of combat boots can be so fun to style and so fun to wear and actually pretty practical for me in the winter time um, and like snow and stuff like that. So oh, I, I like them, the feel of them are really nice, um, but yeah. I'm just, I'm not sure I'm on the edge. All right, next up, the other pair of shoe that I got are these sneakers. And these are actually number one on my list for pairs of shoes actually that I bought. Um, Cause I really, I had, purchased a couple years ago from the sale a Nike pair of like they're kind of like a tannish sneaker and I wore the heck out of those and I actually am just now getting rid of them because they are so dirty and so gross that I've, I've tried to clean them like so many times that I can't they're just like they're done for the bottoms are like slick like I need to like let them go um, but I loved them so much and I saw these in the sale and I thought they were cute they're by Eileen Fisher. They're really comfortable. They are more of a platform sneaker, but I loved the color. They do come in a ton of other colors as well. They're really comfortable. They do run true to size. I got a size nine. And like I said, I just really liked this color. It reminded me of my Nike ones. Um, so this was actually like my number one shoe that I wanted to get. So highly recommend them. They're super comfy and I will try them on for you guys. Okay. So here are the Eileen Fisher sneakers on. They're so comfortable. They're so cute. I love how it's kind of like a platform. So they make them more like fashion sneakers, but they're really sleek. Um, they don't show this in the picture, but they do have laces and they do tie. So <laughs> they don't show that in the picture, um, but you can easily kind of sneak those. I have like a little trick where you take the lace and you put them down in your shoe and underneath the sole um, of the shoe inside and you actually can just like have them be a slip-on shoe. Um, so if you're looking for a slip-on shoe, um, you can do that, but you can also lace them up and tie them like like shown but they don't show that in the picture so i want to make that clear i actually think the black would be super cute as well they do come in a black pair but love these super super cute and they do run true to size and then next up before we get into some clothing try-ons that i'm going to try i got these pair of sunglasses they are by key i actually already own these in the black and i love them so much um, i actually shared this on instagram stories the other day i shared them like my black ones are like they're like nicked and like scratched and like they're like really beat up because I love them so much. And for the sale, they are still available. Um, they are these like really big oversized sunglasses, but in the tortoise. So oh, these actually feel even nicer than my black ones. I love them. They're just my favorite sunglasses. If you've ever seen an Instagram post of mine, I'm always wearing those black ones. Um, but I love, I was so excited. And they're only $35, which I thought was a pretty good deal um, for some key sunglasses. And like I said, those other ones have lasted me for years. All right, so first clothing piece that I purchased and the ver like the only really clothing thing I needed in my wardrobe was a new pair of the Spanx faux leather leggings, which are very popular and they are, I believe they're still in stock, um, but I love them. I actually had explained before that I had a medium, um, which I had through pregnancy, well, part of my pregnancy, I did not wear it at the end of my pregnancy, they were too tight, um, but 
also postpartum I wore them a ton and I love them but they, I noticed that they started like rolling on me and they were just a little big um, so I knew I needed my normal size and I also wanted to try out the petite sizes I never knew they had petites <laughs> and if you are like I'm 5'2 if you're like 5'3 and under highly suggest checking out the petites instead of the regular. I always had a ton of extra fabric down here and now with the petites they like lay so nicely so I highly suggest grabbing a pair of petites if you're short um, but I got a small petite they fit great I love them they are perfect I'm so excited to have a good fitting pair of Spanx again. <laughs> All right, next up is a pair of denim. You guys, I actually bought two pairs of denim and they're kind of fails for me. I just, I never have luck with denim in this sale. I always feel like they're kind of cheap feeling. They're always like odd fitting. I don't know. I just like my Abercrombie jeans and I stick to my Abercrombie jeans. But I did want to try these. They look so cute online and I was like, I'm going to try them. Um, and they're just, they're kind of odd fitting for me. Um, they are these Topshop high rise straight leg jeans. They have a little slit here. I really liked the like look of them. Actually, the feel of them is really nice. They're a true denim. There's they're stiff, they're not stretchy or like move movable. They're kind of that like stiffer denim, which I actually like, um, but um, they're just odd fitting. So they're really kind of like tight and snug through the like hip area. But then like I got the whole like back issue where the like band up here is really loose. So I don't know, I just don't love them. Um, they're not my favorite and I think I'm gonna send them back. I got my true size a 26 and I do think they fit true to size, but like I said, I've got like this whole thing going back here and it's just like a little too snug through here. So for me, these were a no-go. All right, next up is another pair of denim that I grabbed. I just, I don't know, I'm like kind of not really sure about these they're really comfortable so they're actually by rag and bone and they are these like gray i love the wash it's like this kind of gray kind of acid washy just really like washed out gray color and i love the color of them i think the wash is so nice but i'm not really sure about the fit they're a little they're actually too long on me so they need to be like hemmed or cut or something um so that would need to happen. And they are like a high rise straight leg. I do feel like they fit true to size. They definitely have like a little bit of stretch and like give to them. They're not like a stiff denim or anything. Um, they fit true to size. I got a size 26, um, but I just, I don't know. I'm just not sure about them. <laughs> like I said, I think the length is kind of throwing me off. They're just a little too long for me. Um, if you were taller, Oh, I think these would be super cute, but for me, I'm just not sure. All right, next up is this leather jacket. I think during the sale, a good time is to grab a leather jacket or like a really just nice wool jacket, any kind of like nicer <laughs> jacket that maybe you wouldn't normally buy. They have pretty good deals on. And then the other is um, grabbing like a really nice sweater. Um, there's a lot of Vince sweaters that are super cute in the sale and they're definitely a splurge, but like just getting one and then like being done with the sale, I think is, I think it's worth it. Um, so this leather jacket, I actually saw immediately and wanted it and added it to my wish list because it is a brown leather jacket. It's by Sam Edelman um, and it, I just loved the color of it. I thought it was really pretty for fall. I actually have a black leather jacket but I just loved this color. Um, I got my true to size small. I like the fit of it too. It's not super boxy or short. You can actually kind of like zip it up. Um, it has nice zippers right here. This is kind of the color. Hopefully you guys can see the color of it. It's a really pretty brown. Um, the only thing is these like flaps kind of just like flap around. There are snaps here, but I don't see anywhere you can like Kind of like snap it and leave it open so i think they just kind of flap like that but oh, i just love it it smells amazing it feels so nice like the leather on it is really really well made it's definitely a splurge um it's definitely a little more of an investment piece 
but I think it's something that you'll have for years and years if you love it. All right, so next up I got this kind of craft really oversized Nike sweatshirt I did okay so I did a whole blog post on this I'll link it down below in case you're interested on some like not dupes but like some look-alike items and also some exact items that you can get somewhere else other than the end sale and this was actually one of them you can get this at Dick's Sporting Goods right now um, in every single color every single size is available but it is full price but Dick Sporting Goods always has coupons, so scrap for a coupon. That's what I did for this color because I got it in the black and this oatmeal color. I wanted this color so bad and it sold out within the first day and I saw it on Dick's actually before and I decided to order it. Um, it is a size small. I did go with my normal size. It is quite large. I think you could size down if you wanted to or you could stick to your true to size. I plan on washing and drying it. I think when I, I feel like all Nike stuff kind of shrinks in the wash um, and especially if you dry it. So I just got my size small and if it shrinks a little that's okay because um, it's just really big and oversized. But I did like how it's kind of boxy, a little bit cropped. Um, it's super soft, super com comfortable, um, really nice material and I got it in the two colors. All right, and then the last thing that I got, so this was a very much an impulse buy. <laughs> I just kind of added it on to an order, and I added it on with this, because I bought this in like a separate order, and <laughs> I, because I loved that like oatmeal-y one that I got from Dick's before the sale, and I loved this one, so I got this one, and then I added these. These are the Zella Livin' Joggers. You guys, I had no expectations. I think this might be my favorite clothing piece, maybe besides the Spanx, because I knew I wanted them. Um, <laughs> these are so comfortable. They are so comfortable. They, I thought they were just like a basic, like fleecy sweatpant type of jogger, but no, they're actually like that, like really, I don't know, like an athletic material or like a dry fitty material, but it's so soft. It's just like really buttery soft super comfortable um it has a little band down here drawstring right here it is like kind of higher waisted has pockets um i got a size extra small i sized down in these and i feel like they run a little bit big um i'm really happy i got the extra small instead of the small but they are so comfortable these are like literally one of my favorite purchases i got i'm super excited to wear these i actually think they're like nicer so like I will actually wear it like this out I don't really wear a ton of sweatpants out and about but these are definitely like they're definitely like you can go out of your house and wear them so love these highly suggest all right, guys, so that is it for my end sale purchases of 2020. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will have everything linked down below. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're not. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.